But as web develop, there's a lot of interaction. And today we are in Web 2.0, where we see a lot of interaction, not just within the organization, intra-organizations as well. Um, and the web of complexity uh, is actually quite complicated. Okay, so I wanted to know from you that over the past 27 years, oh my God, whenever I say 27 years of experience, that's humongous and that's amazing. Of your professional journey, you have been doing so, so, so many things, working in multiple disciplines such as sales, people management, cybersecurity, software, and lots more like we discussed. Uh, today, there's a lot of buzz around, you know, zero trust policy in context to cybersecurity and data protection. As an experienced business leader um, at a leading cybersecurity organization, we would like to know from you that uh, what exactly is zero trust policy and how do you see these policies impacting an organization overall culture and uh, what should be the focused, key focused areas while implementing the zero trust policy at an organization. So what are your thoughts about that? Okay, so first of all, what is zero trust? Well, the yeah. phrase, you know, you don't trust anything. You start from zero, right? So first we need to understand why we get to this concept. Um, if you trace through, well, that 27 years, <laughs> you will see internet, and connectivity progress over time. Um, when we first started, it was just simply connection within the office. Everything is done within the four walls. And so basically anything that is connected, you can trust. But as web develop, there's a lot of interaction. And today we are in Web 2.0, where we see a lot of interaction, not just within the organization, intra-organizations as well. Um, and the web of complexity uh, is actually quite complicated. So I'll give you an example. Today, if you are in an airline company, um, your customer would interact you, with you through by first buying a ticket. That airline reservation could be outsourced. He clocks in mileage that loyalty points could be also. He selects his seats. He selects his meal. And the meal information goes straight to the provider for your food. So you imagine through the whole interaction with just one booking of seats and going onto the plane, there are a lot of parties that needs to be interacting with you, which means even if you run an airline company, um, there's a lot of other companies that you need to connect directly with. Now, what that means is any point of compromise will lead to a compromise within, with you, right? And, and so therefore, you've got to bring it back to the lowest denominator. So you start with trusting no one, and it's a default deny uh, situation. If you are not trusted, you don't come in. If, you are, if I want to trust you, there's a set of things I need to do to make sure that you are trusted. And I need to know if that is a breach, how do I quickly fence it up and protect myself? Okay. So that doesn't mean that, that we are going back in, in collaboration. That doesn't mean we're going back in time. I mean, humans are social, right? And we need to move forward with business being collaborative. And so, um, it is a mindset, first a mindset shift, a shift from a point that you need to then start with the lowest denominator, denominator and you build from there. So for the business perspective, they need to then start with that mindset and build up the system that way. And when they do that, they can then encourage a lot more collaboration with a peace of mind. So if you are an SMB or your enterprise, when you're building up your IT infrastructure, First, of course, you will start with the concept of zero trust and you build from there. Right? So therefore, every device needs to be protected. The 
So you start with the device, then you start next to the path that needs to be connected, and then to the application that's running it and where the application is located. So the entire data path needs to be connected, needs to be protected. Next is the data itself that needs to be protected. So the consideration will now not just emphasize on endpoint security, it also emphasizes on parameter, it also emphasizes on encryption, and as well as application security. So the entire portfolio of security needs to be taken care of. Then of course, you need to also monitor and understand if there should be a breach, what else to do, and then you know how to take action. And that comes with the security posture that, uh, that a company needs to be